Hey Aquarius, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay? So let's see Aquarius. Let's tap into your energy. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Um, make sure you guys check the description box down below. My PO box information is down there as well as um, the decks that I'm using for you guys to spread, okay? Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing. I know y'all be liking my deck. So let's see Aquarius. Okay, what's going on for Aquarius spirit? Messages for Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius? Hmm. I'm hearing something about take me back in time. So there, there could be something that you're thinking about from your past Aquarius or somebody else is thinking about you. Some of you guys could be seeing 444. So 444 lets you know that you are protected and your angels are guiding you and you're on the right path. So some of you guys are reminiscing about the past, but moving forward is probably what's best. Okay, is what I'm getting to. Hmm. It's a lot of time and effort you put into a past situation. Learn you by six... Uh, Black is on <laughs> six. How do you say his name? Six black. I, I used to say six black, but it's I think it's just black, right? I'm not sure I forgot, but I love him though. <laughs> I love him as an artist. Let me see. Hmm. Somebody here wants somebody here wants to know more about you. They want to get to know you, Aquarius. So let's see. <laughs> let's see what's going on for Aquarius Spirit. Or this could be a past person, but this past person, maybe they don't know much about you. And maybe they didn't give you a chance either. Bottom of the deck is internet trolls. Bitch, we got the T. So, okay. Somebody is trolling you, <laughs> Aquarius. Somebody is like looking you up. Or it says somebody has the T. So somebody found out something about you or about a connection here. Let's see. Or something like that. There could be a lot of gossip going on too, like around a certain situation. But let's see. Okay, yeah, new man <laughs> or woman. For some of you, it's a, it's a woman, right? If you're a man, Aquarius, watching this, bottom of the deck is on boss. Somebody can really like Air Max, okay? Really, really love Air Maxes. I do too. I like Air Max, but um, so let's see. So it says betrayal. I'm about to whoop somebody's ass, okay? <laughs> so somebody's a little upset. Then we have seeking. Seeking came out for Pisces. You could have Pisces in your chart. Marry Me came out for, I think, I forgot who it came out for. Cancer? Yeah, I think Cancer. I forgot, y'all, but you can have all the one of those in your charts. All right, we have Marry Me, New Man, and then we have Obsessed With Your Beauty, okay? So let's see what is crackle like in here for you guys, Aquarius. Somebody here can have a Taurus moon. All right. I'm hearing Capricorn too could be in your chart, Aquarius, somewhere. Some of you guys can live at a distance from somebody. 
Okay, somebody moved away from you or you moved away from them. Searching for a heart, another world. So, yeah, some of you guys live at a long distance. I'm looking at the lyrics to a song. The song that's on right now is Next to You by Bryson Tiller. Searching for a heart, another world away. I'm still waiting here. How soon can you make it here? Hope that you will make it clear. Hate when you're away from here. Yes, yeah, some y'all. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What is internet trolls for Aquarius? Let's just see what's going on here. Some of you guys are married or you're getting married here to a new person. Mm. All right, let's see. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, so new. Building a solid foundation somewhere here. 555 five, five on timer. So you guys can be seeing those numbers. Um, definitely uh, somebody could have a Taurus moon or Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be significant. All right, let's see. What is internet trolls here for Aquarius? I'm getting like a, a scatterbrain energy. Somebody here can't think straight. What is internet trolls? Because... going on Aquarius what's internet trolls what is this there could be like some cyber bullying going on okay yeah four cups so somebody could be trolling you here Aquarius I mean flip the switch here I could be talking about somebody else but I'm gonna just say it's you right put yourself where you belong in the spread but four cups talks about a missed opportunity it talks about something that's stagnant People could be trolling someone here because they missed an opportunity or missed out on somebody or because they're stuck somewhere or just, I don't know why they're trolling <laughs> just yet. But Four of Cups is definitely something that's stagnant. It's a missed opportunity. It's daydreaming. That is a dreamy energy. I feel like you're ignoring that shit though. Whatever this trolling is, you're ignoring it. You're not paying it no mind. There could be, like, let's see, what else for internet trolls? There's a, there's a feeling of, like, feeling apathetic or discontent or, yeah, the justice here. So, karma. You could be dealing with a Libra. Some of you guys are taking somebody to court for defamation of character, I heard, or because somebody keeps harassing you. All right, but there something here is going to balance out and work out in your favor. But definitely karma is showing up. Clear as day, right? Um... Mm. let's see what else for internet trolls okay the chariot in reverse cancer energy I feel like you blocked someone here Aquarius or you're trying to block someone out or somebody is blocked you got a restraining order on somebody or a protective order but somebody is blocked from coming towards you. That's why they're they're trolling or they're acting like this because they can't they can't come towards you for whatever reason. The the chariot talks in reverse. It talks about um yeah somebody could have been really aggressive with you or very forceful. The chariot talks about blocked by a certain obstacle as well. Somebody could be having car trouble too. Somebody's like tired of their fucking car. They're about to like get rid of that shit. <laughs> you or this other person, but. I'm saying like smoke come out of somebody's car, having to get, having to pull over and wait for like triple A to come or yeah. Um, But the chariot in reverse, it does talk about like um as well, what am I, a loss of direction, not having a sense of direction or feeling lost. Let's see what this is. What's um four cups? I'm seeing somebody on the run here from the law. Somebody could be running or trying to get away from something. What's, what's the four cups? Okay, ten of pentacles. For some of you, you're trying to ignore an offer because... Um, it comes with something illegal, something, it, it looks good, but it's like illegal. For some of you, this is your family members that are trying to offer you something. Somebody in your family. 
but you're turning it down. I feel like somebody is discontent because they missed out on a big ass lump sum of money. Some of you guys are getting a windfall of money, some inheritance money or something like that came in for you or I don't know, you're building some type of empire and they missed out on this offer. Somebody missed out on the chance to build this with you, to have this happy family, this marriage with you, or they missed out on money. One or the other, they wanted one or the other. Or for some of you, somebody here wanted both, but they missed the opportunity. Yeah, to work with you. Could be somebody from your past. Yeah, the judgment. Yeah, the damn king of swords. That's you, Aquarius. But for some of you, there's a court situation going on too involving maybe a lot of money. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles talks about wealth, abundant. <laughs> Excuse me. Could be building a business. It talks about a happy family <laughs> dynamic as well. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> My spiritual <laughs> messages are coming through when I start burping like that. Or hiccuping, <laughs> rather. Um. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, 11 11 on the timer. You guys will be seeing those numbers. It's 8 11 on the clock. I normally see 7 11 and 7 17. 11 22. You guys will be seeing those numbers too. <clears throat> I remember at the start of my twin flame journey, I was seeing like 11 22, 11 33, 11 44, like a lot, a lot. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be on a twin flame journey, but what is the justice card? So let's see what this is. Okay, five of pentacles. Yeah, somebody is there. There could be for some of you, there is a court situation where somebody here is getting left out on the cold and they missed out on a chance to get money i feel like somebody was after your money aquarius or vice versa right this could be somebody else in your energy but definitely somebody here being left out on the cold and being taken for everything that they got I, i'm feeling like and being blocked because somebody really thought they was going to get something from you and they didn't i feel like they just didn't get it because they weren't supposed to Something about a family dynamic it could be about a marriage. Somebody could be unhappy in a marriage here. Some of y'all could be trying to get a divorce. And somebody's trying to make you feel bad about breaking up with somebody. Yeah, what's the chariot in reverse? Somebody here could even be homeless. All right, right now. Somebody could be living out of their, their vehicle. Okay, the hermit. Yeah, it's like somebody can't find you, Aquarius. You're disappearing or you disappear from somebody. There's a blockage here maybe because there's a blockage in something maybe that you want to build to is what I'm getting, Aquarius, because there could be some inner work that needs to be done. Yeah, three of swords. You could be dealing with a Libra. There could be some inner work that needs to be done. So maybe there's a need to do some shadow work or this is what you did. I'm feeling like somebody here is definitely trying to get away from someone that's a bit aggressive or trying to coerce them into doing something that they don't want to do. You know, I feel like you're trying to get away from this person. Or they're trying to get away from you. Flip a switch it. Could have Virgo in your chart. Uh, the Hermit talks about soul searching, introspection, shining a light on something here. Wisening up. But I feel like... I feel like you're seeing what the blockage is now. Or you seeing what the blockage was. So these internet trolls, I, I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, they there could be there could be like multiple people in on something that you were unaware of until now is what I'm getting. Like somebody here tried to do something and it didn't work. It actually backfired. I'm just I'm seeing somebody that could be definitely homeless or they struggling right now with something. What's this uh, five principles with this justice card? Yeah, seven of wands blocked, a restraining order or like something like that is going on here. Seven of wands is like talking about being protective. So definitely a protective order could be in place or Um, standing up for your beliefs, standing up for what you believe in. There was some type of injustice here. Now something is being made fair with this karma being here. Yeah. 
What's this betrayal? What's this betrayal card? I'm about to whip somebody's ass. <laughs> okay, somebody's like mad. Let's see. The Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Could be dealing with an Aries. What's the betrayal? Six of Cups. Yeah, somebody from your past. Somebody here that you grew up with, Aquarius, or that you have children with, or maybe a past life with here got betrayed. You betray them or they betrayed you or something like that. I'm getting an energy of somebody here thinks that you want to fight <laughs> or because you're mad, you're pissed off with them or vice versa. What's betrayal with the Six of Cups? So there's like nostalgia here. Definitely thinking about something from your past. Somebody from your past really misses you. They could even want to reconcile. But let's see. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. You guys could be saying 666. Yeah, it could be somebody here that you want to apologize to. You have your guards up here. Um, I mean, they have their guards up towards you. Or this could be you, Aquarius, and this Queen of Swords energy. Hmm. Let's see what else for betrayal. Let me see. There could be somebody from your past that needs your support or help. Somebody from your past could also want to give you some type of gift. Hmm. I'm hearing something about somebody that passed over to somebody transition. Okay, for some of you guys, you were close to somebody that passed over. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, but hmm, this could be like an ancestor here that passed down some type of gift, or it could be some type of inheritance, whether it's money, a home, your name on a will, or a gift from um, like a divine, some type of divine gift. All right, that's being passed down to you, like you're in the uh, you being psychic or something like that. But you could be dealing with the Leo with the strength card. But there's like an energy of um trying to overcome some type of challenge or trying to be trying to gain the confidence to do something. You could want to give somebody something, or somebody wants to give you something. But their pride and their ego could be in the way for some of you. Somebody struggles with vulnerability, is what I'm getting to. But the Six of Cups with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like somebody really wants to balance something out or give you something. Let's see. Somebody here could have acted a bit immature. They could still be a bit immature or naive a bit, you know. What's the Six of Cups? All right, Queen of Cups, yeah. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this could be you, Aquarius. So this could be somebody here that you want to give something to, right? Some of you guys are just focused on your children right now. You're focused on being a mother or a father here. But I feel like there's somebody here that's in their feelings about you. Or somebody that, that you really care about wants to give you something or wants to talk to you about something I'm getting. Somebody here is psychic. They do have some type of gift of... Uh, some type of ability, some type of clairvoyance. Somebody is psychic. The Queen of Cups is very empathetic, very um, compassionate and very caring. So whoever this is that you want to give something to or they want to give something to you here or they could have gave... Somebody's like reminiscing about something that you gave them or some type of... You could have been just a gift in this person's life. They, they miss you, whoever this is. For some of you, this is about your mother. Somebody here... Some of you guys' mother or father transition. And you missed this person or they missed you or some. There was some type of betrayal dealing with uh, somebody that passed. For some of you, that's the case. Who did I get this, this energy for? Pisces. It's connecting to Pisces. It's giving me this Pisces energy because um, somebody here tried to set someone up or or they, they actually murdered someone for some of you. I know that's sensitive, but that's what Pisces reading was really about. Yeah, the temperance. Yeah. With the ten of wands, the five of swords. There was some type of betrayal or something that happened to somebody. I don't know if it's actually murder or something like that. But definitely, there's like a mother. There's like a nurturing energy here with the queen of cups. Either you really miss this person that's still here. Or this is somebody that transitioned. What's the six of pentacles? And they left you something, but somebody else did try to do something with it. 
What's the Six of Pentacles? Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, something about money. Six of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. So there's like a focus on building something. Some of you guys could have just gotten a new job. You could work with kids here. Somebody could be a stay-at-home mom or father. Or you're getting ready to be. Which I feel like is really nice. Some of you guys might find it hard to work from home with your kids. But shit, I, I like it. <laughs> but, um... Hmm, eight of pentacles is focus is work some of you guys definitely just got a new job though there's employment or something that you're focused on where you help the community you help heal the community or give back to your community or something like that or somebody around you is just like this they're very giving and kind and you miss them something like that is going on but okay yeah somebody from your past that wants your forgiveness i keep saying the judgment but definitely somebody that could have transitioned here what's um Something here is balancing out with your work too, Aquarius. You're building something. Something is building. And I feel like you're really good at something that you do. What's the strength card? Somebody misses your nurturing energy. You feel like home to somebody. Really. What's the strength card? Yeah, the temperance. Yeah, Sagittarius energy. So balance, peace, harmony being restored. Trying to stay strong through a through something that you're going through so that way peace and harmony can be restored in your life or balance. Somebody could want to reconcile with you too. A soulmate with the temperance and the six of cups. That's reconciliation of soulmate energy. What's the, the strength card with the temperance? Some of you guys have an angel or some type, some ancestor here that's watching over you for real, for real. The eight of wands. Yeah, somebody could be telepathically communicating with you or an angel could be sending you messages here. For some of you, it's through your dream state. Hmm. You could be dealing with the Pisces here with the hangman showing. Somebody, somebody too could be trying to have the courage to balance something out with you or make something right with you here. Uh, Aquarius with the Eight of Wands, there could be communication coming in or something is just moving quickly. Something suddenly is going to happen here to balance a situation with you, your work, or somebody in your life that you want to balance something with. Yeah, Five of Cups, there's some type of sadness or regret here. Somebody could be getting locked up for stealing. They were a thief in some way. Could either be spiritual jail or real jail. But there's healing being taken place too. Somebody here could definitely be some type of earth angel. An ascended master that's down here on earth. Somebody is like really, really ascending at a fast pace too. Whoever you're dealing with or this is you. But some type of betrayal happened between you and somebody that you love. That's just what I'm getting. Whether they passed away or not, somebody here that you love. Some of you guys could be working on something and you're dedicating this work to the person that passed away. It's like uh, in honor of my mother or father or whatever. Like you're, you're carrying on some type of gift or legacy dealing with somebody that passed away. Yeah, your empress. Okay, the eight of cups. Taurus, Libra, energy. Something about your mom. But for some of you, there's a divine feminine in your life or you are the divine feminine here. You walked away from somebody. Yeah, you turned your back on somebody that said, I don't know. But let's move on. What's seeking for Aquarius? What's seeking? Somebody could be uh getting tarot readings done on you or you're you're looking for answers to something here, Aquarius. I'm seeing somebody like smoking, thinking. Some of you guys could smoke um, hella weed, okay? But when you smoke, you like going to deep thought about things. Yeah, two of swords. There's something here that you can't see with the moon. There could be a decision between two paths or two people for some of you. But the two of swords is like stalemate energy. Okay, so something here is that a stalemate. I feel like you're confused or overwhelmed about something that you can't see or maybe you're in denial about it or maybe there's something that you're seeing that you just don't want to see yeah being in denial <laughs> basically 
or maybe you don't have all the answers to something but let's see what is seeking with the two of swords somebody i'm getting a really emotional energy somebody has heard about something like really bad what's seeking with the two of swords yeah eight of cups some of you guys could be seeing eight 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 what else for seeking i feel like somebody is trying to figure out if you walked away from them completely aquarius or vice versa okay the fool the ten of wands yeah somebody is burdened away down by something some of you guys can have a lot that you're that's on your plate right now a lot that you're trying to do some of you guys are trying to make travel plans to go somewhere as well. You're trying, yeah, Ace of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. You're trying to get somewhere here, but there with the Fool, that's you, Aquarius. There is a new beginning here. There, there's an ending put to something because it's too much. It's too much to carry. Whether it's about your emotions or somebody in your life that's just, you know, they're just an extra responsibility or extra weight on you. It's like dead weight or something. It's, it's, it's uh falling away or it's being thrown out right with the ten of wands i'm getting to the ten of wands we'll talk about baggage emotional baggage all right but let's see something really quick the eight of cups is like walking away it's gaining some type of introspection maybe doing some you know some self-healing some work on yourself maybe you're needing to walk away from a situation to really really go within to figure out you know i don't know figure out something What's this two of swords? But you're definitely breaking free from something. Okay, three of cups. Yeah, some of you guys are trying to figure out how to reconcile with somebody. But you're in your head a lot. Some of you guys are seeing someone here partying or having fun. And you're just like, hey, I, don't, I would rather not see that because it hurt, it's hurtful or something like that. There is, there could be a, a gathering, a get together, some type of a happy event that's going to happen that you don't see coming. You could be trying to find the answers out to something, but you don't see something that's that's good that's coming. For some of you guys, there is somebody that's trying to look into you or get information on you, but they can. They're seeking. They're trying to find something out about you, but they can't find it out. What's this two of swords with this three of cups? King of Cups. Yeah, somebody here has strong feelings for you, Aquarius. For some of you guys, I feel like you're in denial. You're trying to, you're, you're not trying to see. I'm getting an energy of somebody that you really love or care about. For some of you, they're still here. This is, could be somebody you want to reconcile with. You don't want to see this person celebrating with somebody else. It's like you cannot stand the thought of somebody being with somebody else. Is what I'm getting. Okay, it's like you, you don't like it. King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is marriage energy. Some of you guys are, are watching somebody date someone else. It's going to lead to marriage. Okay, that's that could be painful, right? Uh. Okay. Hmm. Somebody has deep feeling. Yeah, wow. Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. Some of you guys have a soulmate in your life right now, too, that you're dating. Or this is this other person, right? They're dating somebody here. I feel like there's an energy of um you, you still really caring about someone. And they really care about you. But I feel like somebody had to turn their back because of some drama. You know, somebody had to walk away. Because it was just too much. What's the Eight of Cups right here? Okay, yeah, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Page of Cups. There's a new person. So there could be, there is definitely good news coming in. I don't know if it's for you or this other person. Flip a switch it. But definitely, somebody here is dating. Some, somebody has some type of romantic gesture or offer they want to give you. Some type of invitation out somewhere or a date some of you guys could be dating somebody literally being swept off of your feet 
right? But the Knight of Cups, yeah. Some of you guys could be trying to walk away from a third party situation to go towards um, somebody that you have feelings for, somebody that you care about deeply. I feel like there's a lot of love here between you and somebody, but I just feel like it's something happened, obviously, that broke you two up or something. But somebody here walked away and started dating someone else. Or somebody feels like they have to walk away because you're not interested in their offer and you're you're fucking with somebody else anyways. Okay, I'm okay. It's a lot going on. What's the Ten of Wands? I feel like somebody wants to offer you an apology, but they're scared. They're anxious about it or what's the okay, Ten of Wands. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, somebody here got fed up with something. Somebody sees you as their nine of cups. You guys need to say nine, nine, nine. Somebody here sees you as their nine of cups, Aquarius, but they are tired. They're way down. They're they're exhausted. Someone here could be sexually deprived or somebody has some type of addictions that's weighing them down as well. But I'm getting a wish being fulfilled here in somebody's life. Whether it's you or this person, there's a wish being granted. But I feel like there's like you can't see it because of maybe it's baggage from your past or shit that you're doing right now that's just weighing you down. You could be just really tired and drained. You need to take a break or maybe I'm getting an energy of like all work, maybe no play. You need to like have some fun maybe or something like that. Go out with some friends. I feel like you're trying to take your mind off of something here because you keep thinking about someone or something and it's weighing you down or or this is vice versa. Yeah, drama, five of wands. There is other people involved in this too. Don't need jewelry, don't need money, don't need nothing, babe. Nothing but sweet, sweet loving. No more playing, no more clubbing, no more fronting. <laughs> somebody here, somebody is trying to take their mind off of you by maybe going out, having fun with friends. I feel like somebody just really wants to be by themselves, but every time they get by themselves, they start thinking about something. I feel like it's you. Somebody here, ugh, this is hella fucking emotional. Somebody is sexually frustrated too. It's like nobody else can please this person but you. Yeah, the high priestess, three of pentacles, the six of swords. Ooh, child, on time flight. Yeah, somebody, is, somebody feels like... um. Somebody wants to see you here. Can't wait to see your face when I pull up on you. Oh, Aquarius. What's the, what's the fool? <laughs> Somebody. I feel like, mm, can I come over? Can I come over? You look just like Aaliyah with your hair falling over. <laughs> your left eye. Crazy, sexy, cool, baby. You the truth. Set the house on fire if you want to. Child, what is, what is going on? Fall in your love and I stand in it. Ooh. I need to go, but I'm staying in it. Okay, you know what, Aquarius? There you are, Aquarius. <laughs> okay. All right, somebody is fan. The, the Seven of Cups with the Star. There's a lot of fantasizing about sex with you here, too. Somebody here thinks that your sex is healing. They cannot find it nowhere else. Uh, whoever this is, is like, what's the fool? I'm getting somebody is pleasuring themselves, too. They're like, they masturbate a lot, whoever this is, because they miss you. Oh, child. What? Okay. They are really going through it. What's the fool? There's a new beginning. Somebody setting themselves free, though. Or they getting ready to take a risk on something. What's this fool, child? <laughs> the Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody sees you as fine as fuck. Queen of Wands here. Oh, child. <clears throat> Aries Leo Sag. Somebody is really passionate about you. You could be a really passionate person too, Aquarius. Like you're very fiery. You could have fire in your chart somewhere. It could be in your moon. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo in your moon. Or somebody you're dealing with has a moon uh, fire sign. But somebody here wants to like... You know, I'm getting an energy too, Aquarius. Of like somebody here knows your sweet spot. Like they know your... um, They know how you like to be fondled down there. <laughs> Whoever I'm speaking to is so freaky, okay? But the Page of Cups, some of you guys have let this person go and you found somebody new. You could be dating a new person with the Page of Cups. 
I'm getting this past person though. They want to take you out or vice versa. I keep getting like, it could be cross watcher energy. That's watching for you, Aquarius. Some Aquariuses want to get back with somebody, but they, they, they I don't know what the fuck they did. <laughs> um, Somebody here plays a lot of games though, or they play too much. Somebody's in like playful energy when it's not a time to play. Their feelings are really fucked up, like fucked up. Yeah, the devil, the emperor, somebody's obsessed with you. This person is trying to wait and see if you're going to come back and you're not. I feel like you're too busy dating somebody else or somebody new, Page of Cups. Some of y'all could even be pregnant. You're dealing with other people. For some of you, there's somebody here that got someone pregnant that's weighing them down or something like that too is what I'm hearing. Oh, Lord. What's this marry me for Aquarius? It's a lot going on here, Aqua. Five of Wands. Yeah, what's the marry me with the five of wands? There's somebody here that you see as long. You can see long-term commitment with. And there, there could have been like competition or somebody getting in the way. Or Aquarius, you know that you have competition. <laughs> We're trying to get this person back. Somebody here could be married and they found somebody new. What's marry me? Somebody is not liking that shit. The magician, yeah, the devil. Virgo, Gemini, energy. Acting like shit was all good now, but it ain't like it used to be. You was by my side, but you ain't like you used to be. Yeah. Ooh, we. Somebody is in there. <laughs> Let me hurry up. What's marry me with the five of wands and the magician? Okay, the high priestess. Somebody was doing the devil. Somebody was doing spell work on a connection here. They were in competition with you and somebody else, Aquarius, and it broke you two apart. And I feel like this other person that tried to break you two apart um was in on something involving your family they was trying to get something i don't know if it was like hella money or they were with you for money this person that broke you two apart somebody here that you love you genuinely love oh we mm. this third party could be trying to come back too to apologize somebody was in a very codependent relationship or they are when music comes on y'all get so many messages like You always been that random go and hit the floor tight. Even when I would tell you, yeah, somebody is a freak for somebody. Whoever like, oh Lord, what's this five of wands, man? Somebody could have been doing chaos magic too. Somebody too, with this person on this card, looking at these two people, looking at this man proposed to this woman here. She's like, oh. it's like she's seen something that was going on between you and somebody else. And she maybe ran back or he ran back and told a third party that you were dating somebody new. Okay. Mm, what's this five of wands? Somebody is trying to manifest manifest you too to, uh, telepath telepathically. The messages that are coming through is just like insane. Okay. The seven of swords. Yeah, somebody was on some fuck shit. They were on some sneaky shit, lying, trying to stab you in the back. They don't want you to, whoever this is that you got in your energy, Aquarius, they don't want you to find love, like, at all. They don't want you to be with nobody else. And they sabotage a union. I'm de definitely getting they sabotage something. Using spell work and probably some more shit. What's the magician? Like somebody wants to win something at all costs. They don't give a fuck who they hurt. They don't care if they hurt themselves in the process. They're just like, well, as long as I got the person that I'm trying to. Okay, the death card in reverse. Yeah, somebody, you know, I feel like somebody kept, do yeah, managing this shit. Somebody kept doing something repeatedly over and over again. They kept doing the spell over and over again. This death card in reverse is somebody that's resisting change or transformation. Somebody from your past that can't let you go either, Aquarius. I feel like there's a past energy that can't let you go. And um, you've been trying to move on and find somebody new. And you found somebody new. And this person here found out. And they got mad. They got mad. But their whole plot, their whole motive here was to take something from you is what I'm getting. Okay, and you could be taking this person to court now. Oh, child. Yeah, Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Three of Swords, yeah. 
let me see. What's this death card in reverse? five of cups yeah somebody here that's just miserable they're sad all fucking day their life is just in misery somebody here could have even been trying to do a death spell here they could have been that's the same make sure you go watch pisces reading that's the same energy i got for pisces somebody could have been trying to do a death ritual on you but you're not dead you're not dead like somebody tried to like really, really hurt you here and it, it failed. It backfired. I'm also getting to somebody here resisted change so much to the point where they let this third party win. They let this third party have one up on them and they, they're just now finding this out or something like that. Yeah, some information came in. Something came to light. Oh, Lord. What's this high priestess? That's Pisces energy again. The Two of Cups. Yeah, a very spiritual, strong connection. Somebody that you truly desire. But the Two of Cups, a soulmate energy, maybe a divine union. Think About Me by Tyus is on. Somebody is trying to figure out if you ever think about them still. That's what that song is about. Somebody, oh, Aquarius, I gotta get off this reading, bro. I'm getting emotional. I'm, I'm feeling sexual energy. I'm feeling like somebody's emotions are all over the place. Yeah, divine feminine, queen of swords. You're just divine feminine, but you're in this queen of swords energy. You didn't cut this person the fuck off. Yeah, you moved on. This is this is so tragic. This this just feels like karma, though. What's the high priestess with the the um two of cups? Somebody is thinking about you really heavy. Some type of union. Okay, the star in reverse. Yeah, that's you, Aquarius. For some of you, it's an Aquarius. If you're cross-watching for an Aquarius, this Aquarius is like really hurt bad. They're in despair. And they're hiding their feelings for this person, for you. If it's you watching for an Aquarius. <laughs> All right, yeah. This With the star in reverse, this is like feeling hopeless, in despair, um, being pessimistic. Somebody didn't get the outcome that they wanted with this relationship. This is bad luck and something with the star in reverse. Somebody is really desiring you to. Some of you guys could be psychics here. You and your person, you and this person connect on a psychic level. But this is just really sad. What's the new man right here? What's the new man? The higher thing. Yeah, some of y'all finna get married. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Somebody has somebody, somebody let somebody slip away. You're the one that got away. Oh, Lord Jesus. This this reading is, I don't know, Aquarius. I'm getting a little emotional. Somebody is in their feelings really bad. They are not like, this is a hard thing to get over. What's this new man with the Hierophant? Somebody here found their worth. Yeah, the Four of Wands. Mm. What's the new man with the Hierophant and the Four of Wands? Yeah, marriage. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. The Six of Swords. Yeah, moving away. Somebody here could have relocated or just, I don't know. But the Six of Swords is definitely relocation, but it's spiritually, it's being spiritually guided too. So somebody here was guided to move away from you or you were guided to move away from somebody. Now, somebody here could be getting married and going into another connection with someone new. Ace of Pentacles. Page of Wands. New exciting plan. Somebody new. Could be dating somebody younger than you or vice versa. This is a new person in your life. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah. Oh, we. Undivided by Roy Woods is on. I don't party on Friday night. I don't party on Saturday no more. I don't party on Friday night. I don't party on Saturday no more. I ain't hit the club, drinking at the crib with the bros, pinching all the ounce from the plug. Shorty so sweet. <laughs> Sorry too from your kiss, girl. Mind is clear when we something, something. Yeah. Fucking, so some of you guys could have hung with somebody on Fridays and Saturdays, like over the weekend a lot. All right, um, shorty, shorty, you got me weak. 
She understands me, what goes on in my life, what goes on in my mind. She understands me. They say you should take time. That's why I'm giving her a mind. And it's undivided. E okay, so somebody here, okay. Somebody here did not give you their undivided attention when y'all were dealing with each other. They were not, they were, their mind was somewhere else. And now, oh Lord. If I love her again, I'm foolish. Wall juke you. NFL street two shit. Somebody could play for the NFL. Somebody could be into football. She knew about me and I knew about her. Yeah, you and somebody have a really strong connection, but they somebody was on some different shit. Okay, the devil, the two, yeah, juggling. Somebody was in and out. Devil, two of pentacles with the dev, uh, with the knight of wands. Somebody could have been really money focused too. They were struggling financially. Okay, what is obsessed with your beauty? So I can get off this reading, Aquarius. King of wands. Yes, yeah, so we have the king of wands to the queen right here. King of Cups to the, okay, the devil. Yeah, somebody here was stuck on superficial things. They were stuck. This Queen of Wands could be a third party too that was in the way that had them in this. I mean, you, you got to take responsibility for your own ways, but somebody that they were dealing with, somebody could have had someone else and they were dealing with a lot of superficial shit. Somebody was really into the material world, the matrix type shit, and they got, I don't know. But this person, I feel like somebody could have been in like a really sexual energy too. You and this person spent a lot of time together, could have had a lot of sex or whatever the fuck. But um, somebody here could be spiritual, could be a spiritual leader or spiritual guru as well. It's like somebody ascended here. They have a lot of fans, supporters. Some of you guys could be seen in a public eye. Somebody here is a leader, a very spiritual. You have a spiritual connection with this person, but I don't know if they walked away or you did. Flip it, switch it. But definitely somebody here was in toxic ass energy could be a capricorn for some of you or somebody with strong fire and they're what's obsessed with your beauty with the king of wands and the devil somebody here knows how to charm someone yeah ten of cups somebody could have had a toxic attachment to their family member or somebody that they have children with as well this person is obsessed with you. They really watch you all the time. Whoever this is, I feel like they want to take action towards you, but there's still like double energy here. This person is still, I don't know what the fuck they got going on, but they are toxic though, in a way. And it's like, it's crazy because they really like, I feel like somebody here, love, like there's a like love here. But they could be, they could be in a connection already. Somebody here has a family already, but they're still pining over you. But it's like so much love between you and somebody. There's like deep emotional feelings, but they act, they're acting like a karmic. I don't, I feel like they are karmic. There's just a really strong soul tie. You have some type of, for some of you, this is your twin. And this twin was just a catalyst for your growth. And I know that that shit, I know it hurt too. Like, oh Lord Jesus, I got to get off this reading. <laughs> I know it hurt to have to walk away from somebody that you really eat you out for dinner like a gentleman. Knock before I enter like a gentleman. Tell me, have you ever had a gentleman? <laughs> if not, then girl, you deserve a gentleman. I feel like somebody here knows you deserve better than them. But the sex between y'all two or the time that y'all spent together was so euphoric. Like, I don't know. Fuck it with that sub to and slow. Nah, we don't want that. Throw yourself on like it's meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> somebody, Aquarius, somebody convinced you that it was meant to be with them, but they like leave you with a fifth of your sanity. Yeah, somebody, Lord have mercy, Aquarius. Somebody really fucked you up. Yeah. The judgment with the eight of swords. Somebody is in spiritual jail because of what they did. This person, this person really gave you the best times of your life in such a quick time i feel like you and this person here separated very quick i'm definitely getting twin flame energy feelings grew between you and this person though but they have not expressed it they they keep fucking around with third parties or they had a third party and uh, somebody is very charming they know how to like charm you this person i feel like you found this person so attractive who we? What's this King of Wands right here? <laughs> There's a sexual, uh, yeah, the world. The cycle is closed out with this person. 
there's a sexual connection you have with somebody, but they are very immature. This person is very childish. And they missed out on a connection with you. I feel like now they're pondering over it. They're thinking about it. What's this uh, devil? Somebody has to have a sex addiction too. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. They miss you. Whoever the fuck this is, they are pining over you. They are. Somebody who is really money focused too. But they, they're obsessed with you. I feel like you're very independent. You're self-reliant. You're, you're, you're like the jackpot. Somebody hit the jackpot, but they fumbled this shit bad. And I, when I say bad, I mean really fucking bad. It's like real bad. Yeah, now you, this person moved too slow. They were up in their head. And now they, boom, you done found new love. And, oh, we. That sounds like some tragic ass shit to me, Aquarius. Let me know in the comments if this is resonating. <laughs> This music really helped this uh spread. Oh, we. So um, some of you guys could have a favorite song with this person, or you guys could communicate through uh music. All right. Let's get uh. <laughs> Let's get a card for you, Aquarius. Mm, mm, mm. What, um, let's see. Afterlife, number 20, number 36, life review. Yeah, now somebody is like, really? Let's see what this afterlife card is about, though. Somebody here could have passed away. Definitely, I'm getting that, but it says... <clears throat> Let me see, why is it... Okay, let me see what page Afterlife is on, because that's weird. Okay, page 50. Okay, that's why. All right. So it says, your loved ones, yes, thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation, bro. Your loved ones who crossed over before you bring you this message. The afterlife is not to be feared. It is full of healing, cleansing, and infinite love, a love beyond what any human can imagine. All those times you have felt alone, insignificant, and helpless were just an illusion. The afterlife card is a reminder that you are truly loved, that you are a powerful being, and your soul is magnificent. It is in death that the soul becomes truly alive and free from pain and misery. You are only ever temporarily affected by physical and emotional pain while you are in the human body. You never really die because you are an eternal being. Either someone here passed away, right, that you really miss. It could be both, right? Or it's somebody... You're separated from somebody and it feels like literal death. It feels like this person here is like gone completely. Like it's, it's that painful. You know what I'm getting? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's just excruciating pain. Like, I feel like somebody is like in pain about either somebody that passed away. I'm really sorry to hear that because I feel like you're grieving. But then I feel like you're grieving a connection as well. Or it's just somebody, somebody has been through a lot of trauma or seen a lot of shit growing up or they, they've been through a lot. Okay, I mean, everybody has, but y'all get what I'm saying though, right? This is y'all's reading, so I'm not talking about really everybody. So it says, imagine what it is like to come here as a light being. You cloak your soul in what feels like many layers of heavy clothing that are confining and restricting. You are grounded by gravity in the low vibrations of earth, and your desires are manifested very slowly. Results from your hard work are often seen years and years later if at all if it at all i mean if at all which can be frustrating because as a light being you are used to to manifesting you are used to manifesting your desires instantly with practice and patience you could begin to bring your soul qualities to your life here on earth ask yourself what your soul mission on earth is what did you come here to accomplish it will be what resonates with you most and it could be the simplest thing so the action is to help clear the way for your soul's mission, connect with your ancestors and ask for their ask for their help in healing any lineage of trauma that has been passed through your bloodline. Start by healing yourself as you change and heal you change and heal you will also heal your family. In this way, the generations of suffering will stop with you because you are powerful and aware enough to clear any inherited trauma. Yeah, somebody is finally finding out the truth now about you, Aquarius. So they're finding out the truth about themselves. I feel like it's both. All right. Need Your Body by uh, Stimulator Jones is on. <laughs> yeah. 
So let me know in the comments. This is a lot in this reading. So let me know in the comments how it resonated. Let me know if it did resonate. Like, let me pull one of these cards really quick before I go. <laughs> Since they're sitting here. Because I was going to do a Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine reading. All right. But um, let me pull one of these since they're here. For Aquarius Spirit, can you give me more time to clarify the spread for Aquarius? Please and thank you. One card to clarify the spread for Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, Mary. Yeah, dating someone who's married may entail many restrictions and even more difficult can be living with the bitter truth that you are sharing them. Yeah, somebody here is married. The damn king of cups with the three of cups here. This is a married man. Yeah, married man. <laughs> yeah, and they were breadcrumbing you too. Whoever this queen of cups is, I feel like it's you or something like that. Eros love. Eros is sexual, passionate, a romantic kind of love that can become an infatuation filled with lust and dangerous due to the loss of control. Yeah, marriage again. One goal, two ways. Wow, you could be attracted to someone who does things very differently from you, but if you learn to communicate, you can make it work. Repetitive cycle. Yeah. Over romanticize. Oh, we. Well, let me let me see. One more here to clarify the spread for Aquarius. Somebody here married somebody that they were just like, they thought was the one, but it was just sex here is what I'm getting. And you were the love of this person's life. Yeah, perfectly imperfect. The love you have for them allow you to accept their flaws and accept them for exactly as they are without trying to change them. Yeah, somebody here met the one, bro. Somebody here fell in love with you and... Yeah, somebody gave you false hope and mm, child. All right, Aquarius, this was your reading. Let me know how it resonated. Definitely leave me some comments and um, like, subscribe, uh, turn your notification bell on, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Aquarius.